road trip, crossing state lines to play a developing rival. The statue that guards this rink suggests there's some history here, but the Jackets are not taking this ride alone. There are two Jack Johnsons on this trip to Pittsburgh, and two McKenzie's, and two Dubinsky's, and more dads than coaches lined up behind the bench for morning skate. The Jackets are one of several NHL teams that organize a father's trip and allow the dads full access to everything their sons go through on the road. One of the highlights actually occurs the night before the game when players, coaches, and their dads gather for a dinner away from the rink. It's a unique look at an exclusive club, pro athletes and their fathers in a fraternity reserved for the best of the best. It's also where the dads form friendships that only grow through the weekend. I'm going right over with Wiz. Look at this over here. Wiz and Dubinsky over here, two troublemakers. That's Tom Atkinson finding a seat to watch morning skate. This is the chance for this group to realize what they've all worked for to get here. We all sacrificed a lot. But yeah. No, we do it again in a minute. In a minute, yeah. In a minute. And, and you know what? I actually hate when we when we make some people make reference to that we sacrificed. No, we didn't. We never sacrificed anything. No, we, we there are children. Yes. We gave them everything we could to right. become the best they could be at right. whatever they wanted to be. And that's what parents do. The Blue Jackets organization realizes this, of course, which is why they set this trip up for the dads. And the father's trips are great. You meet all the guys and it's, it's just a lot of camaraderie. You know, we all have the, had the same experiences. We've been involved with youth hockey, and most of us have been coaches. So it, it's just kind of cool that you build relationships. This is amazing. I think that to be a part of this, and we are just talking about where we've seen these kids go from youth hockey to this, living their dream, and for them, Having us be a part of this is absolutely phenomenal. This is my first time and I'm with my father on the road like this, so it's uh, it's exciting for him to kind of soak it all in and get to see what our what our daily schedule is like every day and our rituals and all that sort of stuff. So uh, it makes him feel like he's one of the boys. And that's the idea: give the dads a sense of team. Their sons wouldn't be here without him. He probably goes back home to his buddies. Like, oh yeah, you know me and me and. Jack, we're, we're buddies and, and stuff like that, so it's great to have him be able to be around and, and meet the other fathers and, and you grow new relationships with them. It's a little different lifestyle for him out here than, than it would be back home, so, uh, you know, he just says he's on vacation and he's, he's enjoying it and, and it's cool he gets to enjoy the experience uh, with all these other dads. And Of course, this is not vacation, it's a business trip. As the sons begin to sharpen their focus for game time, the fathers move as a group upstairs where they watch their sons compete just like any other parent. Remember Ryan Johansson saying his dad was on vacation? <laughs> Looks like he's working pretty hard here. Oh, look at it. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's yummy. Jeez. Yeah, it was hot, Ryan. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> The end result of this trip was not what either the fathers nor the sons were hoping for. But the long-lasting impact of the trip can't be measured on the score sheet. To me, this means a lot. I wouldn't miss this for the world. And uh, for the Blue Jackets organization to put this on for the, for the dads, I think it's a great thing. And, and you carry these friendships forever, just like the players do. The dads pack up and head back home, leaving behind relationships that can be rekindled at the drop of a puck. For Blue Jackets Hockey, I'm Dave Metzold.